Hey guys, this is Red Shadow 23 and as you can see, this is in a this isn't a gameplay video. It's not me giving off. Um, it's about the uh, coronavirus or COVID, whatever you want to call it. All right, so. <clears throat> I wanted to make this video in hopes of it helping, even though I'm not technically a more popular channel, if you can say that, but I try my best to um, be supportive and try to be inspiring and all that stuff <laughs> so um i highly would think that this would actually get as many recommend um uh, not recommendations but uh more um recogn recognition is the word i'm looking for all right so if you've seen my twitter status recently uh, you saw that, um, you saw that coronavirus is in my city, which is, uh, San Antonio, uh, Texas, and to where everything is, um, pushed back. I know that we normally have our fiesta, uh, if you guys don't know that, it's like a, like, a, kind of like a local event. That San Antonio d does annually. So that was supposed to be happening this month. However, because of the coronavirus or COVID, whatever you want to call it, that's going to be pushed back until I think they said November. So yeah, it's that bad. And then you actually have um, productions of shows being uh, postponed or canceled. Uh, most likely postponed until later on in the year. Like, um, I know that Mulan was uh, postponed. Um, what else? I know that they're postponing the production of Stranger Things, the newer version of Strange, uh, version. <laughs> the newer version, the, uh, the newer uh, season. Of Stranger Things, and yeah, <laughs> things are uh, kind of bad because of this whole coronavirus everywhere. Um, not everywhere, but some pl the places that's like more effect uh, affected. Sorry that I'm making a little bit of mistakes because I haven't exactly written down of what I wanted to say. This is basically me voicing out my concern, my opinion, and I wanted it. I wanted to do it. Um, off scripts because I know that. Whenever I did something like this, last time it was, um, when did I do something like this last time? I think it was, um, about the cyberbullying against Adam, uh, Crossdale. I think that was like, what, a year or two ago? I don't know, I don't keep track. And, um, of course, not only is it a, was it about the cyberbullying, um, between one celebrity, but it was more of a message of being kind to another, each other, so, um, yeah, <laughs> besides that, I'm totally not doing this by script, um, so you would actually have to forgive me. Anyways, back to the topic at hand, um, but yeah, it's been bad in San Antonio. You have people like at H E B if you guys don't know what H E 
or you guys don't have an H-E-B where you're at, pretty much like a market store or whatever you call it, um, regular store that's not like, more like produce and all that stuff, more than like Walmart or something. But anyways, um, it's been crazy. Like, you have days at stores to where, you know, it's kind of, kind of like a normal busy. It's like going to a store on, set, or on the weekend, like a Saturday or a Sunday. That's fine, because, you know, people are off of work, they think, okay, so, let me go ahead and do our grocery shopping or whatever, um, during those days, because we work or we go to school or whatever. That's totally fine, whereas now, with the coronavirus, even the HGBs here, the HGB here, I only go to one, by the way. Uh, <laughs> because I'm more used to that H-E-B than other H-E-Bs, so I can't really say that they all work the same. But, even when I heard things on yesterday, the H-E-B that I normally go to, they have said... They have reduced their hours so that they could actually restock shelves. And that they were going to close at 8. Now, I think that the HEB that I normally go to is 24-7 sometimes. But it's that bad. Because of this coronavirus. And now... It's just been crazy. We had some uh, community uh, meeting, I guess you can say, with the officials uh, of not having so much of a large gathering for up to a week or more. So, um, like, I decided to go to a friend's outing for his birth because of his birthday being today. We thought it like, okay, let's go ahead and schedule an outing Friday. That didn't ha well. They probably had it. I couldn't go because what I'm gonna be saying in a little bit. <laughs> but um. Yeah, it's been crazy. Crazy enough to where, um, my apartment sent a, a letter to every resident in their apartment's, uh, thing. It says, uh, hopefully you can read it without not making any reading uh, mishap. <laughs> that would be great. Uh, <clears throat> This was on the 13th, so basically Friday. It says, Dear residents, as you are probably aware, based on widespread news coverage, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, and World Health Organization, WHO, are closely monitoring the coronavirus. We are not aware of any reported cases of coronavirus at the property. We will continue to monitor the, situ uh, the situation. As a reminder, there are some everyday things you can do to prevent the spreading or contracting of the coronavirus. The CDC recommends the following. Avoid con- well, one of that one is avoid contact with people who are sick and keep your distance from others when you are sick. Two, stay inside your apartment if you are sick to, to prevent spreading the illness to others. Three, self-quarantine if you have had contact with someone suspected of having coronavirus. <sighs> this is going to be a little bit. Four, wash your hands often using soap and hot water to protect you and others from spreading germs. When you wash your hands, aggressively scrub all parts of your hands for 20, 20 seconds or more. 
If soap and water are not available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with at least 60% of alcohol. Five, cover your mouth and nose when you cough or sneeze. Discard any tissues and wash your hands. Six, avoid touching your eyes, mouth, or nose with your hands. Seven, clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces. Eight, avoid grasping shared surfaces such as door, handle, door handles, gas pumps, grocery carts, elevator buttons, etc. With your hands, use your knuckles or hips or a paper towel or disposable glove. Oh no, what am, which bullet am I on? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't... They use bullets instead of numbers. It drives me crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh. Nine, avoid shaking hands. And ten, if you feel sick with fever, cough, or difficulty breathing... And have traveled to a CDC des 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 designated high risk country or were in close contact with someone co with coronavirus in the 14 days before you began to feel sick, seek medical care. You should also stay informed. The CDC, which has their own um, website, I'm going to go ahead and put it like right here, and WHO with her own website, good grief, are both updating the websites daily with the latest information and advice for the public. In an abundance of precaution, we will be temporarily closing all common areas for the next two weeks. This includes, but are not limited to, uh, not limited to, pools, fitness rooms, saunas, club room, business centers, etc. Once the common areas are reopened, we ask for anyone feeling ill to please refrain from use of the common areas to prevent the spread of any illness. If you believe you have been infected with or exposed to coronavirus, you should seek medical attention immediately. If you have any further concerns regarding the coronavirus, please contact your physician, medical care provider, CDC, WHO, or the local health department. So, yeah, that's what, um, that's what the, um, our health, uh, not our health, our apartment complex sent us on Friday. And now, um, <laughs> what I've gotten, uh, received from a message, uh, because my, of my mother, she's concerned about me. Um, good reasons, too, that I'm going to explain it now. Um, so, what she said in one bit, she said, The virus is dangerous for the elderly and anyone with a pre-existing pre condition. Now... <laughs> As you all know, um, or might not know, the night twenty three in my um in my YouTube name is literally my birth year. So it it basically stuck with me ever since I started to do um YouTube. Uh so <laughs> But if you actually thought of that, I actually am going to be 27 in July. Um, so, I'm nowhere close to being elderly. <laughs> but I bring this up because I was going to actually say this in my next uh, video log or something. Or message of why I do YouTube but I guess I can say it now and then I can actually address it more um, later on <sighs> I deal with a pre-existing health condition I have a heart defect um, tetralogy flow you can look it up with Google or whatever because it's kind of hard to explain 
the entirety of it, and that's not the case in my video. <laughs> uh, but anyways, the short description that I can say that could um, tie in to, you know, as far as I, I'm concerned or somebody with health, uh, pre-existing health conditions is concerned, my health defects not only gives me a deficiency in iron, but I actually have, um, man, this is always hard to actually talk about, um, but my immune system is basically like a kid's. So, yeah. Not to mention the fact that I've had a lung problem. And the coronavirus is basically something of a respiratory disease. <laughs> it's pretty much safe to say that I am, like, if I'm not careful, I'm most likely going to have it, and it could possibly be worse. So, that's why I have to take some precautions myself. Like I said, it's always a hard topic that I needed to cover. Um, anyways, besides that, um, I basically have covered the points of um, what you need to do whenever you're in the area of the coronavirus. Because it's, it's affecting a lot of areas, and not just America, it's basically, in, like, it's basically other countries to where they have shut down any source of traveling. And... <laughs> and I get it. People are scared. People, that's why people are panic buying. Um, I've seen, you know, if you follow this guy, Robbie Damon, he, you know, he's a popular voice actor, um, if you follow him on social media, he pretty much shows a little short video of how bad it is in stores right now because of people panic buying. And, and of course, you know, I'm not trying to make light of this situation. I'm not trying to sugarcoat things. Yes, this is bad. The coronavirus is kind of, ter is kind of, it is basically terrifying to a point. And to be honest, I am, I am more concerned of the people that are around me. I am concerned for you guys. I'm just concerned about everyone okay, more than myself. And... So, with that being said, I hope that if this gets around, um, <clears throat> sorry, if this gets around, be sure to follow the steps, be sure to keep your hygiene, um, 
rather good. Always wash your hands. I don't know why people are buying toilet paper, though. I mean, in bulk. <laughs> I mean, sure, there could be times, like, in quarantine that you got to be careful. There could be families that are probably, like, less than, or more than three people in the household. But, for the sake of things, please do not panic by. I know that this is terrifying, like I said. But do your best to stay calm, and... I am really hoping... That we can do this. That we can get through this. <laughs> and I know that I'm probably sucking as far as being an inspiration goes. I'm not an inspiration like many other people. And I've told um, Adam Crosdell that... Um, that I try to be. But I know that I'm not too, too much of an inspiration. I, what I do here on my channel, I basically try and help put, people on, uh, put a smile on people's faces. I don't really go into deep, deep um, uh, conversations like this. Now, <laughs> I know that some of you are probably not religious, so I'm not going to say, hey, I'm making you pray or any things of the sort. I'm not telling you what to do besides hoping for the best, that this can blow over, that this can eventually find its way out. Hopefully that we can end it. And I hope to everything that's good that you guys would stay healthy and stay alive. Because this is a serious matter. Much like, much like basically any sort of um, catastrophe. So... Yeah, uh, once again, I'll be putting the links for the CDC and WHO, but anyways, thank you all for listening in to this, and um, I'll be back to doing uh, gameplay videos for you guys. I've just been busy with a few things, and hopefully I can do that. <laughs> for you guys to help put a smile on your face but until then take care stay healthy don't panic bye just make sure that you you don't contract this and if you do I really hope that you can get better if I can't, if I could, I could just, like, see of actually, um, <laughs> sending you guys medicine or, um, chicken noodle soup. <laughs> Anything that could help you get better. So, yeah. Once again, thank you for listening to this, and I'll see you guys in the... In the upcoming video of whatever I'm gonna do next so yeah with that being said take care guys and of course have a good day see ya